Hello YouTube and welcome to Ground Forks Plays Transport Fever. This is episode 31 of our playthrough. And in today's episode, we are following our new mainline train going to Meltham, after which we will be taking on the newly appointed tunnel and upgrade which we upgraded in the previous episode which should shorten our time and increase our top speed going to Winchcombe. So, let us take a look and do a short ride along on the road to uh, Winchcombe. All of these uh, locomotives and trains are bringing me a metric crap ton of cash and that's very nice, so we are loading up passengers as we can, and we are off and running. Let me just remove this. Devs, if you're watching this, please do remove that fact that I have to, on every load, kill off the... Yeah. Kill off for the profit and loss thingies. Now, previously... Our trains were going around and then climbing upwards and stuff, but this way I think it's actually quite nice to just enjoy the view, as you can see. Meltham is a beautiful city filled with opportunities. Oh yeah, that's a screenshot for the episode, alright? Right from the get-go. Beautiful. And instead of previously going the windy roads of which nobody will dare to mention, we are now going into the tunnel and exiting straight towards Winchcombe because it's faster, it's more convenient and it allows us to keep our top speed. So, let's just, yeah, there's the view. Maybe not as exciting as previous one, but still nonetheless very important to have and we are coming up. Right there, and as you can see we are going at 126 kilometers an hour because, oh, some remnant track? I wonder where did it go? By the way, seriously, I should clean that up. Okay, and as you can see, we are slowing down just before the curve. So, yes. Ooh! Passing shot, nice one. I think that we have one more bridge to renew. And that's something that I will be doing. See, 140 kilometers an hour. Now that is what I call a speedy delivery, ladies and gentlemen. We have already the locomotives capable of running up to 200 kilometers an hour, but no wagons, sadly. And we are still on the old uh, traffic lights. I have no idea, or old semaphores, I have no idea when those will get auto-replaced. And that's a feature that I would very much like to see. Auto-replacement of the ugly old signals. Oh, look at that. Our ship chugging along ever so carefully while we go and hopefully make it into the Winchcombe. There we go, another ship that is leaving the port. Oops. Bumperoo! Seriously, this uh, road giving away to track is one of the most annoying things that I've seen so far. Okay, hero shot at Winchcomb. Cha-ching! Yes, and we are not seeing this because I'm hiding it. Good. Now, if I was to remove this bridge, would it say a vehicle in the way? Let's see. Nah. Come on, it likes me removing bridges. And I'm gonna be putting the newer bridge in its place, 
with high speed tracks connecting with Contenary, of course. So nothing out of the ordinary, just a bridge. Can I put it slightly higher? Yeah, something along these lines. And so close to the station, I don't think that you will be taking a full speed on anyway, Chief. Now, we want to have signals. One, two. Do we have a diamond crossing somewhere? We have the one, one of these, okay. Right. Okay, that means that you're on the right side. You guys are supposed to be weaving this way forward. Great. That means I can, without too many worries, I can actually have this. And there are ships going back and forth, which is very nice. You are going to Winchcomb, but being empty. Why would you want to do that? You go to Brearley instead. And you... You go to Brearley. You you have some food, so that's okay in my book. Okay, that settles our train lines. And the main reason why I was trying to get things rolling was... Hold on. There is our Susan going to pick an unholy amount of oil there. Good. And there are the Rustoleums. Which I have decided not to change until the further notice. But the problem is then... Uh, I, you know what? We really don't shouldn't be skimping on cash. So what I'll do here... I'll replace all of these just for the sake of um, the discussion for now. So, because they are clearly, you know, stopping the lines and I don't want to do that. So, replacement. So, I want to be putting the 140 an hour, right? You are one. 120 an hour. Well, there's a 20 kilometers per hour speed waste, I guess. But what's your year? 5 million and you are 640 to 1 million a year, 847. Oh, I guess I'll be putting then the Susans here. So, yeah. Susan and then open wagon for the grain, yes. And add them to the length of 320, please. 318. Replace now for all of them. 58 million, ladies and gentlemen. That will be a hefty cost to consume, but I think we need it. I mean, the other ones are at least new. And there goes our DC4, I believe. You are being maxed out, great. That means your deliveries should be fine. This has been modernized recently, which is good. We have also in the previous episode, just for you guys, we have conveniently taken out these guys and you're waiting for a free path or... What are you waiting for? Waiting for a free path. Oh, I see. Because where's my next set of signals? Pretty far out, I would imagine. Okay, okay. There, there is something that clearly that I need to improve. Hold on. Let me just quickly delete these guys. I know that they're a legacy, but I really don't like seeing older signals on my track. So, you on this side, you on this side, 
you on this side and you on this side. Now that should hopefully fix things. Passing shot. Yeah! Right. Okay, uh, like, line age. Yeah, those are the grain trains, they'll get replaced. Vehicles, yeah, two more to replace. And then we have Meltem to Brearly Air. It's a minor loss, but... Oh, if I could only, only, somehow, by any chance or feat of engineering, create a route. So if it was here, could that be an airport here, a bigger one for the Brearley? Somehow like this, if I switch it here, longer landing strip, unable to align terrain. I mean, I get the terrain alignment collisions, I really do. Huh, go figure. So what about if I put it here? Oh, unable to align terrain. What if I put it like this way, around? So here, oh, could it be that I even had a case where I could actually put it? Wow. And for the regular airport to work, I would need to demolish this one, but... So I have airports at Brearley, at Ghoul, at Wincanton, Meltham, I'd almost want one here on Walton Thames. And a big one for that matter. Oh, a Concorde! Yes, look at the plane. We won't ever be able to put one. <laughs> Unable to line terrain. So what about here? If I start putting these somewhere here. Unable to align? Why? It's already high up. And you are not facing any major problems, I think, are you? Come on, I'm desperate. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! A big airport! Here! You're kidding me! Wow! Wow, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, I saw something very precious. A big airport, here. Uh, okay, give me a second, guys. Shock and disbelief follow. I mean, of course I will connect it, and I will connect it well, and just a matter of figuring out, hold on, where did you go? A big international airport here at Walton Thames, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just find its location. Oh, there it was it. It doesn't even seem hard. Woo! 
Now, I'll actually pause this. And I do want to lower terrain here a little bit. I don't want my plane strafing just a little bit. Yeah. Then followed by smoothing. Also here, smoothing. Now, with the airport being here, I'd argue that we need to connect the roads. Duh! Medium street, do we want a large street? Extra large street, six lane speed, too much slope. Figures. But hold on. It's actually one of our bus stops. So, large street. Too much slope. Uh, I'd go like this if you ask me. This is the commuter delivery, right? Right. That means I would demolish you, Sunshine, here, because you're not serving any higher purpose, otherwise than being just tedious. Then I would smooth you out somehow. See, a nice redevelopment. Always appreciated. Good, then I would say street, large street, going from here to here. And from here over there. Can we do it nicer? Nope. And then from here onwards. Oh, I'd argue to delete this spec if possible, yes. And then I'd take the bigger street, which will then demolish a building, I guess. Well, you know what? I don't care. You are coming up in the new up-and-coming residential area anyway, so be gone. Now... Can we upgrade this road? No, no, not that, but upgrade to a large street, this one. One building will be removed. Do it. And then I'll update this one with a bus lane, yes. Or, what did I just add now? Tram tracks, no, remove that. I want bus lane. And I want bus lane here and bus lane there. See? Right, and then here I'd want a bus stop. Tram station? Is it really a tram station or it's only a bus stop? I want a cool bus stop. Come on, how hard can that be? Tram bus station at two etage. Come on, something like an airport should have something this epic. Seriously. Okay, not a train, not a train, sorry. Uh, bus tram station medium. Four lane tram bus station. No, how about it? Two lane tram bus station. I don't like the way you're looking at me. Hmm. Tell you what. Bulldozage all the way. Now, we said, could you get upgraded? So to here, you are already, you are already, okay. Segment wise. Now, we don't upgrade, we build. Oh. 
Oh, and this might be actually useful. Or not. Hmm, I'm just thinking out loud. Why would I want this? This would be better. Because that would give me some more ground to smooth. See? Want it to look natural as the nature intended it. And then raise this a little bit here. Right? And now, hopefully, please don't fight me game anymore. Terrain alignment collision. We can only get here. How about here? If I put you here, like... If I disconnect you here, and then I put you here. Construction is possible. And that would lead to a truck depot being here, and then us being able to continue, because we do want commuters to go around and this city will be growing for sure. So we will want multiple lines here. Do I dare to go with four? Something like that, because this will be a terminal and a big one at that. You know what? Go for it. Now, large street going from here it should go like this yes could it connect somewhere here by any chance a building will be removed i never doubted it however if i take the road and just swing it here yes and then i take the medium street and then i just connect this section here collision yeah so um, obviously road upgrade in terms of tram lines need or bus lanes needs to be instituted because we don't want everybody driving on these guys great Look at that, a modern terminal station. Wow, that will be putting some hair up the commuter's ass. So let's see, uh, what commuter? I'd almost, so what's your coverage? You're going here, here, here. You are covering all of these. Walton Thames here. Main Street, including this guy, and after the Main Street, we do want to put the station, Walton Thames Holt. Come on, it's not Walton Thames Holt for crying out loud. Walton Thames Internet. Exactly, Walton Thames International, that's supposed to, that's how you name a station that's an airport, you know? Right, so would you upgrade? No, you don't upgrade, that's a one terminal. And one terminal is enough for this guy, and how many buses do you have on the what commuter? Vehicles, three ones, so... Uh, I'd argue that we actually could upgrade those. I know we upgraded them just recently. Oh, no, we didn't. 31 years. 21 years. Then you will be getting a brand new orange. Sporty orange. Replace now. Yes. And you will be getting, I think, a couple of more vehicles as soon as I can find my road depot. 
which is uh, nowhere to be found apparently. Could it be because I demolished it somehow? Road Depot. Road Depot. I have no idea. Let's put it here anyway. Now, by road vehicles, that one, and we'll put them sporty orange, we said. Two more. Set the line, and you are going to Walt on Thames commuter line. Great. And now I have to find an equally important airport because I would like to actually connect the two airports using some of the newer planes, and that would be amazing. Walton Thames, how about something for the long haul flight? Walt on Thames 2. You are all up in the hills. Yeah, Ghoul has been uh, good in terms of traffic. Blythe. Could we put Blythe on the map somehow for an international airport? That'd be just nasty. Oh, hold on. Maybe. So, Blythe. And then we say two terminals on Blythe, please. Maybe we could do even three. Let's mark the areas. So, if we could somehow... Yeah, I mean, it could be doable here somewhere, maybe. Unable to align terrain. Come on, work with me over here, will ya? How about if I put it like this? Let's see. Unable to align here, here. I mean, airports are tedious, I'll give them that. Hold on, did I see something right there? Now, let's just quickly turn here and see... Aha, you have a problem of... Even here... You'd have to chip off this part of the mountain here. So what if I lower the terrain here a little bit? If we just say, okay, this general area... We ask the High Almighty One to help us out in terms of preparing the area. Now, I'm just thinking, would that be something satisfactory? See, something like that. Unable to align terrain, come on. You'd, I assume you would need to raise this area, right? A little bit. And the most critical parts I saw here somewhere. So, let's assume that we want to level this area a little bit. So now you level off a little bit. 
No. Why are you saying unable to align terrain? You could align terrain. No. Something like that, perhaps? Maybe like this? Maybe. Like this, huh? Look, it could work. I don't see why do you, why don't you want to align the terrain here? What about if I turn you the other way around? This way. Unable to align. How about for just one terminal? Come on, give me at least one, please. I need my Concord. Look, it should be easy. Maybe it's a little bit chiseled in the rock, but hey. Aren't we all? I mean, Blythe really has the potential to have the airport. Traffic-wise, connectivity-wise, everything-wise. And I'm thinking something like this would be just perfect. So, maybe... Maybe I need to ask for some superpowers here. I don't know. Oh, this is the last try. If this doesn't work, I'm giving up on it. I wish I could understand better what unable to align terrain means in the context of this game, you know. Because honestly, right now it doesn't say much. So, come on, final try. Throw me a bone here, will ya? I mean, it has everything. Look, easy. Uh, not at Blythe, apparently. Could Win Canton actually sport a bigger airport? Something like here, maybe? Here, perhaps? Ooh, what was that? I saw something. Unable to align terrain, yeah, I know, I know, but... Yeah, and I guess this side I don't know if it would be able to align it this way around huh now we have at Walton Thames I would say one would be needed at Winchcombe because that's actually the further south you can go. And it is a rather level area. It will need a good connection, give it that much. But... Um, so if I align it something like... Here. And let's see if we can put the three terminal one, the biggest one that we could muster. Like this. Terrain alignment collision, obviously. But 
terrain alignment collision. I think if I remove that road, it could go. Now, where was I? See? Hell yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. This will be majestic. I just have to find the right orientation. Unable to align, but you could here. So, like this, no. Like this, no. But like this, yes. And it's not even that far from Winchcomb. You know what? Sold. This will be the regional airport. And I have just to figure out how the hell will I connect it. I mean, apart from road, duh, obviously. But let's do it like this. Uh, you get removed. Sorry. Now, you as well get removed. Then... Then. Then we need to figure out, and I would ultimately really like to get a small shuttle train getting into the station. Could I expand this station by additional track. Three buildings shall be removed, but I get an additional track. As if it was ever a question. Of course, yes. Thank you. And this track will be going this way around and going here. So it will be sort of like a mini backing service or something. I'm thinking. Now, even passing here, which is not a small deal, to be honest, but uh, now let's first talk connections. First things first, I want to even out this because it will be, I think, easier to build. I think this will be an exciting time. Now, uh, road. I want to be putting large street and it should be the large street going all the way here. And there's super, super small street here. This should be like a highway almost, I think. Could I upgrade this one? Hold on, before I do this. Either that, or we construct a super highway going this way. How could we upgrade this street? Let's see. Upgrade. Too much slope, terrain alignment collision. Nine buildings would be removed. And this is an older styled bridge that connects these guys. But what I really need is something more modern and... I think I'll actually leave this for sentimental reasons and I'll probably build a main connection somewhere else like super highway here and then going into the heart of the city and also a, tr a mini train going, hopefully. So, super highway, street, going there. Two buildings will be removed. I don't care. And you're going all the way. Too much curvature, no shit Sherlock. Now, right, this is the street to our brand new passenger terminal, which should be glorious in every possible sense. Then, 
a super highway connecting. No, this looks butt ugly. Connecting it here, yes, that looks okay. Then this is a medium street going somewhere. I mean, can you do worse, please? Terrain alignment collision? Terrain alignment collision. Seriously. What about this? No? But you can construct from here. Hmm. You can't. Okay. You know what? I don't care. I'm over it. Now, about that track that I was planning to build. High speed and contendery, obviously. And if I'm going from here, two buildings will be removed, yes. Three buildings. I think it will probably be something completely bonkers, but nevertheless. And going all the way here, I think it would be a complete waste of time. You know what? We'll expand the rail network as if as if we'll need it. Um, because I don't think simply this one would be viable, something like that. You're kidding, right? Holy crap, that would actually work. Then I could, in theory, construct a, a small terminal station. Like two tracks. Something like this. Aha. So it has to connect high speed containery, yes, and not a terminal, but a train station sort of like here collision something like this and that depends can i cram in the nice station here well we have some cash why not give it a try Now, the bus stop, I want a nice one. This will be a large station, hold on. Terrain alignment collision, that's already far. How about a small one here? Yeah, it's the, it's a train station that's in the way. I knew it would be causing problems yes confirm destruction that's one of also new features I guess here but when the terminal is already here now let's put the large street just a smidge I'm thinking something like that yes then we want to be putting this station somewhere here we had it has to look beautiful otherwise what's the point be connected like this then yes it can and it will look beautiful as well awesome now that would be the road station and it has two lines which is perfectly capable of supporting things and we still have to add a mountainous road going somewhere here. So let's see if we can find large country road. You know, you're passing by the airport. You should be important, actually. Thank you. See?
Now, this road, if it, I want it to continue, it shouldn't be continuing from there. Simply put. Well, I need to connect it somewhere, so. Curvature, construction not possible, confirm the destruction, yes, replace here. There, much better. Everything is intact, looks intentional, which is completely by not my design. Um, and um, I think I'll have to ditch the train idea for the time being despite my better judgment, but yes. So let's see, what do we have? We have here Winchcombe commuter, which is going around the city. Right, and then I would need one bigger commuter that would take things to the airport. Now, Let's see, hold on. Um, I would argue to take a new line, but that new line has to connect you, Sunshine. Okay, so this is, uh, aha, I see this is the cargo route. This is not Winchcombe Exchange. I mean, what the hell are you thinking? This is Winchcombe. Come on. Winchcombe International. Winchcombe International, yeah. So. Right, then you go to Winchcombe International. Vehicles drive on the right. Now, where is my bus stop? Then you come here. Right, then you will come. Hmm. You see, I would like it to go here and then maybe here. Yeah, can I somehow chip away a little bit of this mountain down? So, yeah, like make it a little less ugly. Here, here also like Smooth this area out. So smooth, yes, smooth, please, smooth. Now, somehow, take a road, median country road, extract it from here. Not road, ultimately, let's say a street rather. Medium street. Medium street. Yes, you come out here. Remove the buildings if you need to. I didn't ask for them anyway. Yes, great. Right, now that means you could come here. Which, what's your catchment area? All of these, wonderful. Then you come Winchcombe International. The next stop being the Grove Road. The next stop being the King Street and we will be taking then the Avenue hopefully yes 
followed by the crescent and then you will be continuing on to the international airport so you will be uh, win air commuter and uh, since we have the rest of the lines showing off here or oh, your orange and what's your your blue that means you could be green win air commuter okay right and why did I ever close you yes so I need some buses to go by road vehicles I need this guy cargo type passengers uh, we'll put some like this green on you and we'll put like a couple of you great set the line and that's win air commuter right that fixes the winchcomb air commuters now I have to double check that on uh, Walt on Thames do I have the commuter one I have the what commuter okay great that means all I need to do is create a line going from you will be the the strong yellow and you will be going from Walton Thames East all the way to Winchcombe North so you are win what air right and to be perfect and in absolutely single post every single way we will be putting the money waster concord and we'll paint it red yes so let's buy the aircraft and let's see if it makes a profit hardly <laughs> win what air right now I think this really requires a glory shot now something like this oh and it snows it's already protruding that's nice so let's unpause now while we read up on the Concorde Okay, so Aerospecial BAC Concorde is a British-French turbojet-powered supersonic-powered jet airliner that was operated until 2003. It had a maximum speed of over twice the speed of sound at Mach 0.204 at 1,354 miles per hour or 2,180 kilometers an hour at cruise altitude. With seating for 92 to 128 passengers, first flown in 1969, Concorde entered service in uh, 1976 and continued to fly for the next 27 years. It is one of only two supersonic transports that have been operated commercially, the other being the Soviet-built Tupolev Tu-144, which was operated for a much shorter period. Concorde was jointly developed and manufactured by Sud Aviation, later Aerospecial, the British Aircraft Corporation, BAC, under Anglo-French Treaty. Twenty aircraft were built, including six prototypes and development aircraft. Air France and British Airways were the only airlines to purchase and fly Concorde. The aircraft was primarily used by wealthy passengers who could afford to pay a high price in exchange for Concorde's speed and luxury service. Uh, among other destinations, Concorde flew regular transatlantic flights 
from London Heathrow and Paris Charles de Gaulle to John F. Kennedy International Airport New York and Washington Dulles International and uh, in Barbados. It flew these routes in less than half the time of the other airlines. Concord's name meaning Harmony and Union was chosen to reflect the cooperation of the project between the United Kingdom and France in the UK and all of the type are known simply as Concord with no definite article V. Concord won the 2006 Great British Design Quest organized by the BBC Design Museum beating well-known designs such as BMC Mini, the miniskirt Jaguar E-Type Launton Tube Map and Supermarine Spitfire. The type was retired at 2003 after the crash of Air France 4590 in which all passengers and crew were killed. The general downturn in commercial aviation industry after the September 11 attacks and the end of maintenance support for Concorde by Airbus, the successor company of both Aerospatial and BNC, also contributed. Right, now let's see how do we go. 854 kilometers an hour, ladies and gentlemen, that is just crazy. Look at it. Let me just close that window. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I feel it. This is a screenshot for the episode, probably. Likely. Possibly. Let's follow it all the way until Winchcombe. Or Walton Thames, sorry. Okay, we are already approaching. I mean, it seems that it's a very short flight, but given the speed, sheer speed of this aircraft, I'm pretty sure it's not. Right, let it let us see the Concorde land. Better the Concorde than the Discord. Ha! Huh. Pun intended. Concorde on approach. Oh, even the cabin moves down. Nice. I want to catch some hero shots of it landing though. Come on, pull up for the final flare, will ya? And not on the nose, not on the nose. Nice. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. And as soon as we park this beautiful Concord, I wish you all thank you very much for watching. Like if you like the episode. Hit subscribe for more Transport Fever content, and I'll see you all in the next episode. A little bit unexpected episode at that, but... And I'm perfectly aware that this aircraft will never pay off, but you never know. Given the length of the transport, you just might. So, thank you very much for watching, like if you like, and this is Groundworks signing off while looking at this beautiful... Concord.